Hey guys, today is the 18th, I think, of July. I'm on my way home from town. I was in town to do some grocery shopping. Got a little bit of lunch. So I thought I would just hop on here and chat with you guys. I went to Big B, got some editing done. And by some, I mean an entire video. I don't know what it is, I just can't really like edit at my house. I, I can't stay focused. Also this morning, I was so irritated. First of all, yesterday, I knew the electrician was coming over. Cameron said, the electrician needs to come over tomorrow. What time works best for you? And I said, tell him 10. And he said, okay, the electrician said he'll be over at 10, maybe a little bit after. The freaking dude starts knocking on my door, the camper door at 9.45 in the morning. And I know, okay, it's only 15 minutes early, whatever, but I was dead ass asleep. And for those of you who don't know, which you probably already do, Kaiser is very protective. So of course he started barking his face off and he even slipped out the door when I opened the door to go out and greet the electrician and talk to him about electricity things. My freaking dog. I wasn't gonna let the dog out. The dog, he he can bark as much as he wants. I just, I don't wanna deal with him thinking anybody's a threat when they're not a threat. And so I, I was gonna leave the dog in the camper and he just, you know, nudged me right to the side, threw the door open himself and ran up to the electrician which was wildly frustrating. So that was a bad morning. That was a bad start to my day. And then this morning, I wake up to Kaiser barking his face off at like 9.30 in the morning. And so I'm like, what the heck is going on? I look out the window and there's two huge pickup trucks in my driveway. One person is the electrician and another dude that I've never seen before in my entire life. They're walking into my house, walking around my house. Cameron says he thinks it was the inspector, which like, that's all fine and dandy. You know, the faster we can get electricity, the, the better. But like, can you let me know? I don't know, I just would appreciate it if, you know, y'all could let me know when you're gonna show up at my house, especially with the stupid dog. The electrician, like I said, he knows. He knows how Kaiser acts when there's strangers around. So I don't know why he would just show up at my house unannounced. And I don't even think he knocked on the camper. I don't think he needed me for anything but they were like walking into my house and out of my house, around my house and talking loud. So Kaiser was just barking his face off, man. It was, it was a stressful morning, okay? So I went and got me some Big B. And now I'm on my way back home. I'm probably gonna pack a bag and head to my folks' house for a night or two. We have more paperwork that I need to print off and fill out for the power company so that we can get us some electricity. And we don't have a printer and my folks are awesome and they let us use their washer dryer and their guest bed and their printer and their Wi-Fi and their shower and their bathtub and their food and yeah my, my folks are awesome okay this is the current state of the inside of my house it's pretty freaking nasty but this here is our bedroom and here's our beautiful beautiful breaker box I just love to look at it because it basically is just proof that we're one step closer to electricity, which is awesome. That through this is going to be our bathroom. That's like the shower right there. Kaiser, are you done being a little whiner pants? You're always getting stuck around the tree, huh? That right there is our shed. If you were curious, this is the beautiful dog house that my husband built for my dog, which he does not go in ever. There's also like a pond sort of back there, which I think is why the bugs are so, so bad back here, which is super frustrating because bugs love me. Kaiser, get your ball. Get it. Okay. Oh yeah, I just got bit for sure. I actually really like that one. Wow, that one's expensive. It's only a little bit more expensive than the one that we already picked out, though. We picked this one out for the dining room, right? Like above the table? Above the dining room table. Above the table, and then this one's for our bedroom, which looks like a boob from the bottom. It's gonna look like a boob. You okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> 
one that's less boobish. Oh, because there's, there's no, no nipple. Yeah, no nipple. Yeah, I really like that square one. For above the dining room table? I like that one, and that one's cheaper. Look at that one. That one? Yeah. That one does look cool, but it doesn't look very bright. That's exactly what I was just about to say. All right, forget it. That light is like the fanciest crap I've ever seen in my life. The living room's taken care of. We're going to have lights that go on the ceiling. Like but, recess lighting? Yeah. So we don't have to have any like actual light light? No. Mark, well, we have we have Mark the giant. And I already picked out those. Oh, okay, cool. And wasn't consulted. And we have the big sliding glass door, so like we're gonna have natural yeah, light during the day. Another... You guys want to hear something super funny? My husband is drunk off his right now. <laughs> he just went golfing this morning, and I had to be his DD. So we just left the golf course. Somebody overindulged a little bit. I'm not overindulged. <laughs> I no, but just no, but those one guys that were there, those guys over, they overindulged. They didn't when I, know their I first pulled up and there was a guy like screaming. Cameron, didn't, did you hear it or no? A little bit when I was walking up, I was kind of like, whoa, what's going on? Well, there was people like congregating, but there was a guy that was like, he was talking to some guy that was sitting inside of his truck, and he was like, I will beat them. What are you like? He, like oh. they were biting. This is like what we're looking at. That deal. Okay. Okay. I like this one. Okay. But I mean, there's mm. all sorts of stuff we could do. I like, like that one. We had to buy three. But I think ours needs to not drop down as much high. because our ceilings are not that pretty, high. Yeah, they're pretty low. I like the circle one or the square one. I think we would have to go circle one for this one because we already have a circle fixture over here. Oh, we can't go with this one. Look at it. It's not, I don't think it's adjustable. Like, yeah. it has to hang down that far. Um, they also have some more over there. Okay, so I think we're decided we're going to get this one for actually over the kitchen sink. And then this one for our bedroom. And probably another one of these for like the center of our kitchen. Like the center of the ceiling in the kitchen. And then this one for over the dining room table instead. So that one's going back and then we're going to get one of these twofers instead. Are you paying attention to like, does like voltage and stuff matter? Like wattage and whatever? You just get lights and call it good. Got it. This will work good because the LED ones are more efficient. Like energy efficient? Yeah, so it'll save us money doing these ones. And then these are kind of just more of a for looks deal. Cosmetic. And then we decided to go with these for the bathroom, which you I think is super cute. With a ceiling fan in the bedroom if you want it. I think we should put AC in the house. That's going to cost like five grand. That's fine. We don't have five grand. <laughs> So we went with these for the bathroom. I think it's very like farmhouse looking because I feel like these remind me of like mason jars. I don't yeah, know. We're I like going it a lot. With a very cabin barn feel because it is a cabin. It is a cabin, so yeah, yeah, yeah. The Edison light, like, the very trendy look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very in right now. It'd be like all farmhousey and stuff. You spent a lot of money. We did spend a lot of money. We changed our minds like a hundred times. So basically, what we ended up with, that one, what is this for? Kitchen? The middle of the kitchen. <laughs> it's going in the kitchen. This is for, is this the motion one? Yeah. So this is for the front of the house. Exterior. This is for the bathroom. Okay. Over the bathroom sink. We went for a fan in the bedroom. Because we have no AC. Because we have no AC. So we got some motion activated Flood floodlights. Lights. For also the front. It's the side of the house. For like this on the it'll side be, of the house. It'll like go into the front and the back. Cause it's so like, it's got such a wide range of whatever. And then this one is for, don't tell me, over the kitchen sink. Cause it matches our chandelier over the dining room table. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it's the same brand. Oh. That's why we did that. And then we went with the chandelier for over the dining room table. So we did end up with all the lights that we need. We're doing like a lot of recess lighting, which we either already bought or the electrician is bringing or something, I don't really know. So we picked out all the lights that we need. I'm very confident in our decisions, very farmhouse style. I love it, I love it. I'm very excited. This is like the first trip to Lowe's where we got to like pick out our aesthetic, you know, for the house, which is really exciting. I feel like we're actually starting to, you know, make some progress, so. I got my Fitbit, y'all, woo, woo. Seriously, Cameron, how long have I been saying I wanted this Fitbit? Long enough. I have wanted it since February. Cameron encouraged me to put a little bit away each paycheck. And I literally had like a little jar that I put my money in. I got it. I just bought it this morning. How are you feeling, babe? Sober or not? Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you really? No. <laughs> okay, so we just got done grocery shopping and we got a lot of groceries and it's raining. So Cameron's up by the store and I have to go pick him up. And then I realized that we have like a literal full car. Like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit these groceries. How are we supposed to fit these groceries in here? I don't know. We should have thought of this before. I know. You're going to have to put them on the floor, but then our groceries are going to get, like... Hairy? Yeah, dog hairy. Seriously, honey, if you see my watermelon, I would really like to eat it. I don't think my deodorant works. There you go. Why do my pits... I love you. Who was the best husband ever? Ugh. All right, I'm going to drive home now. I will talk to you guys soon. You guys know what's kind of gross is that I found this coffee maker in our house. The house that we bought from a family member and no one, there's a fly, go away. No one had stepped foot in that house for like two years. So I found this coffee maker. My Keurig is being held hostage in my storage unit. Basically just being held hostage because like there's so much crap in there. I literally, like I, like, I can't even, I can't go through it. It's so full. I, I just, I can't find anything so I ran a couple of cycles through this bad boy with white vinegar. It really wasn't that bad, like, to begin with when I found it, because it, it's white. I mean, I could still tell it needed to be, like, wiped down on the top, but I need me some coffee, okay? It's been months that I haven't had, you know, readily accessible coffee. So this is my first pot that I'm brewing with it. I'm going to try it to make sure it doesn't still taste like vinegar. I think I ran, like, two cycles of vinegar and then two or three of just plain water to try and get rid of the vinegar. I'm really, really hoping that it tastes okay. I just brewed a little bit because if it's bad, I don't want to waste a bunch of coffee. This is the kind of coffee that Cam and I like. It's just called 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock coffee company. I don't know, but this is Cam and I's favorite. You know how when you buy a Keurig, it comes with that like 12 pack of like sampler K cups or whatever. It usually comes with an 8 o'clock in there and that's just the one that Cam and I both prefer. So I got some some grounds instead of k-cups and we're gonna try this out i worked at a coffee shop as my first job so i know that you are not supposed to leave grounds dripping over the pot once it's done brewing that's a good tip it will give your coffee a burnt taste ew no one likes that oh shoot so you definitely want to get rid of your grounds and not let the grounds drip over the coffee but anyway that's beside the point. Let's go ahead and test this out. Woo, it's getting steamy up in here. Oh, two cups. Oh, maybe that meant like two cups, two cups, not like two cups of coffee, like not like two coffee cups. Still on my sugar-free hazelnuts by Coffee Mate. I was into, oh, I was really into the... Uh, I think it was called like Sweet Italian Cream Sugar-Free, also by Coffee Mate, but... I am back on my hazelnut. Oh, I'm nervous. Please don't taste like vinegar. All right, I look like a stinking hot mess right now. I went to the gym today, you guys, for the first time in over a month, I would say, which is pretty ridiculous, but I just wanna try my coffee. I don't taste vinegar, but it's almost like not strong enough. Maybe I need to put more grounds or just like less cream. I don't know. The Keurigs are just like way more foolproof. You literally like hit a button. It takes no measuring whatsoever. I'm gonna add me some chocolate. Super flattering angle. Woo. Yum. Yeah. You have to have it pressed down and then you can pull the trigger. Okay. You can pull the trigger right now, but it's not pressed down. Okay. Are you done? Yeah, Ready? Go ahead. Uh, you gotta tap the trigger. If you hold the trigger, it keeps shooting. You didn't tell me that! You shot a nail down on the ground. <laughs>
so we went for these ones. Can I talk now? Sure. I was just saying, if you wanted a ceiling fan, we could do a ceiling fan because a ceiling fan, like. Now can I talk? If you want, go ahead. I feel like we're finally starting to actually make process. What?